Welcome to The Rant. I'm your host, Herman James, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the populist Republican Party and all their bullshit. Hey, it's Aaron. And Gabby. And Ward. We are the hosts of the Cornfield Wisconsin podcast. We are the weekly podcast that talk about cryptids like Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster. We usually talk about one's native Wisconsin, but we also have a bi-weekly special called NASIP, or North American State Home Vacation. It's a fun-fueled ride with laid-back friends on a Friday night where we try to stay on topic and tell you things about each state. Ward always has some sad facts as well to even it out. We love tangents and relating to real life almost as much as we like talking about topics. Check us out at FiddlerAndShoots.com. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and thank everyone for sharing. I really appreciate everyone continually listening to the rant and checking out the podcast on YouTube as well as the DIY channel. That's the DIY with Herman James, all at youtube.com forward slash the Herman James, or you can check everything out on thehermanjames.com. Now, as the intro to this episode states, we're talking about the Retrumplican party and their populist views. I have said numerous times there is no longer a Republican party or a GOP. It it doesn't exist. It hasn't existed in some time, but Trump forced this way through and fast forwarded everything that we see now from the slow trickle in of these populist economic ideas and political views and just put everything into the fast lane. While he was in office, Mitch McConnell let everything go. Everything. And while he was in office, Mitch McConnell was sliding through everything he could possibly get through the government. That's all he wanted to do. Now, since Trump lost the election by a landslide, those are his own fucking words, a landslide, the entire Republican Party is holding on to a fucking lie. They know it's a lie. They've admitted it's a lie. But none of them want to say it publicly because their minority base, a very, very small amount of the actual citizens of this country who are behind them, who are voting for them, and the people that have come out of the woodworks to support them, they don't want to uh, disappoint this base. This is a base of white supremacists that hate the world. Everything about anything, not white. They hate it. Case in point, Marjorie Taylor Greene. She has to be running a clan. Look at her. Look at what she's been doing. Listen to what she's been saying. I do not recommend giving her any views on YouTube for anything that she puts up. I don't recommend you give her any benefit of any doubts for anything she puts up. Don't allow yourselves to make her think she's important because she's not. And the Republican Party is already doing that. By letting her come out and assault massacre victims and then coming out to assault co-workers in the government for her own trolling abilities and wants and no one says anything at all not one person no because if you acted the way she acts at work you'd be fired doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter where you're going unless you're a Republican party member then then that's okay why Because look who their idol is. A guy that said he can do whatever the fuck he wants because he's a celebrity. He was running for office and simply said he can grab a woman by the pussy and get away with it. And everyone that voted for him allowed him to. And they spoke up to defend him. That's locker room talk. Every defense that they've given for this guy has been extrapolated and magnified so many times, it is ridiculous. Yet, when they have a view that they don't like, they want to shut it down and say how offended they are, how offensive that comment is. Yet, everyone in the Republican Party, 
every one of them has said and done worse. But because it didn't go for your views, the Trumplican voters want to shut it down. Oh, what are they calling that? When someone has a different view that you don't like and you try to shut it down. Oh, that, that's right. The Republicans are calling that cancel culture, aren't they? They're raging out against people canceling them, trying to quiet them. Yet they're doing it to everybody. And they're just calling it something different. You know what the problem is? The Republican Party members are just being vocal bullies. And the problem is they are on a bullshit channel, a bullshit station called Fox News. That's not news. Their option, quote unquote, journalists have the spotlight, have the prime times, and they're the ones that are promoting falsities, lies, outright mistruths. So much so, they've been getting sued time after time again. But that doesn't matter to them because they will do a retraction. But the viewers don't care for the retraction. They're just watching the first thing that comes out of Tucker Carlson's mouth. And Fox News is, fuck, not even news. Like OEN, also not news. Fox News' defense of Tucker Carlson is, no one in their right mind with common sense would think anything he has to say is factual or take it as factual. That's the defense of the station that's putting his bullshit out there. Yet, I hear people every day spout about it. Say how he is speaking the gospel. Fuck him. Fuck Fox. You can't tell me that these fear-mongering pieces of shit who are putting fucking assholes and idiots on their shows to highlight them are doing it in good faith for any other reason than clickbait and ratings. Look at why Trump was on their tongues before, during the presidency, and even after. He's doing so well with his personal blog and social media that he shut it down because there was 99% less traffic being put on there. He's walking around Miralago where he was told and lost it. He can't live there, but he is because he said he's an employee and employees can live on the actual establishment. The fuck is he doing there? Nothing. But taxpayers get to pay for him to be there. And the security guard that goes around Miralago. How about the fact that he's going to another golf course in New Jersey that's going to cost the taxpayers $36,000 to just rent porta potties for his secret service. And you want to talk about fiscal Republicans. Whoa, 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 Mitch McConnell, fuck some dicks. They want to talk about, oh, it's not good. We can't give these struggling Americans money to get by. We can't help raise minimum wage. We can't make a national health care system. That's spending too much money. We're just bleeding out money. Yet they're paying, excuse me, we're paying $36,000 for just fucking porta potties so this orange piece of shit can play golf somewhere else. That That's okay. Helping struggling Americans. Ah, ah. Grab yourself up by the bootstraps and get out there. The same fucks that are trying to shut down corporations because their laws they're trying to put into play and into act immediately that are against civil and human rights, these corporations 
are speaking out against them. And Mitch McConnell says they should not be in government. Do not talk about government. Oh, but wait, um, still, still give me those those financial contributions because kind of live off those and make all my money off those, and I'm owned by corporations. Every politician, I don't give a fuck what side of the aisle you're on, should have to, just like NASCAR, represent every goddamn company industry on their coat or dress, whatever the fuck you want to do, you walk into the office. So everyone can see that the biggest, biggest recipient of oil money is Ted Cruz. Of course, he's against solar. Of course, he's against wind. The big oil is paying him to say such. If he cared at all, even in the slightest, about the people that put him into office, he wouldn't have left the country when his state was freezing. But he did. No remorse about it. What did he do? Blamed his underage daughters. They wanted to go, and I wanted to be a good dad. A good dad would have shown him how to be a fucking responsible individual, do your goddamn job, and help the dying and freezing people that fucking put you into that spot in the government to help them save them do something to make things better but instead he left the fucking country for the ritz carlton in cancun meanwhile they have a free energy market in texas where people are getting charged tens of thousands of dollars on their electric bill to try to stay warm to try to have clean water to try to feed their family where was the government on that? Where was the regulation on that? Oh, we believe in small government. But small as in no government and only take financial kickbacks? Huh. Weird, right? But everyone wants to talk about, oh, he's misunderstood. He was doing the right thing. And look, he came back and there's a picture of him putting... One case of water in the back of one person's car. That was an actual photo op. Just like Trump. When they tear gassed and fucking concussion grenade. Excuse me. Percussion grenaded. Peaceful. Sitting. Protesters. So he can hold the fucking Bible upside down. And backwards. Yeah. These are the people that run this country. These are the people that... The minority of the country are out there voting for. 25% of this country's voters are represented by the Republican Party. Yet they have 50% representation in the country. Don't get me wrong. There needs to be equal representation for all people across the board. And I don't disagree with that. However, there should not be legal power grabs like the Retrumplican Party has been and continues to do. They are nothing more than power junkies. Think of all of them, and I do mean all of them, as nothing but heroin addicts. And once the heroin, their power, and the voters voting for them starts going away, they're fiending. They need to do whatever they can do to get a fix. Since they can't do it on the national level, now they're doing on state level. They're passing voter suppression laws, anti-abortion laws, Regulations that go against everything a majority of the country believes in. Because they're saying they want to go back to traditional values. To win. 
Whose tradition? What fucking values are you talking about? Why have these people, just like Biden, why have these people been in the government for over 50 years? What fucking values are they trying to represent? Jim Crow era laws? Racial segregation? Women going back to the kitchen and getting out of the workplace? What are they trying to represent? I can tell you what they're outright representing. White supremacy. Voter suppression. Women suppression. And outright racism. The ex-president was vocal about how racist he is. An anti-Muslim ban was put in. Muslims couldn't fly into the country. They had to try to reword it, but they got it. Anti-Mexican bans put in the country. They put it on false pretenses. They put it under the COVID uh, regulations that were blocking everyone for the spread of COVID. But wait, they were afraid of people coming in to spread COVID, but wasn't that supposed to go away in the fall and then in in the June time because the sun would make it go away? Or if we just had hydroxychloroquine or, or sucked, you know, Tide Pods or bleach sticks, just injected all of that, or just focused a fucking laser onto people. That would make that make go away, right? But let's not have a mask mandate. Let's not even tell people how to be safe. Let's not try to help save the country. Let's let six hundred thousand people die of COVID. Oh, and then let's call that a fake news thing and fake numbers. But Let's say we're not going to let anyone that's not white come to this country because we want to save them from COVID. Which one is it? You want to save people from COVID or you don't? Because you don't. The Trump Lincoln Party adamantly says they don't give a fuck about any of it. Yet they're getting vaccinated. A vaccination from Pfizer, which wasn't part of Warp Speed, which is also not an American company, which was also underpurchased by the previous administration. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. They uh, don't give a fuck about you or anyone but themselves. And then you want to talk about, oh, well, they're bringing back the values that they stand on. The values that they stand on. And what are those again? Because if it's bipartisanship, that, that's not a thing. Because they just had a bipartisan bill put in to create a commission to look at the insurrection that Trump and the Republican Party pushed and had on January the 6th. And then when that got to Congress, they nixed it. Because it wasn't what they wanted, but it, they already actually had everything in there that they wanted to have. Equal representation, bipartisanship, and everything, 100%. Which wasn't how it was when they did a commission to check Benghazi and spent billions of dollars chasing around the Secretary of State for two years and making Hillary Clinton testify. Oh, but that's because they wanted to make the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton look bad. Oh, that's right. Mr. McConnell said that by showing that they're a bunch of fucking assholes and actually instigated an insurrection and that Trump was responsible, that make them look bad because the truth is not good for the Trumpican party. That's why they say fake news. That's why they try to spin things. I get it now. So, basically... Whatever they say is true, we have to take as a falsity. Okay, I get that now. So when pedophile Matt Gates and clan mom Marjorie Taylor Greene travel 
the southern states and talk about, oh, well, people are talking about me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. They're just making up false things and false lies and this and that. But there's transactions of you paying for sex and sleeping with a 17-year-old. And you also were seen numerous times with pictures with one of the largest sex traffickers in the country and in the world at his house and his yacht and island. Huh. Maybe that's just because he was a Trump supporter and he was meeting the Donald there because he was there too. He's also said nice things about pedophiles. Loves them to death. So when the voters want equal rights, when the voters want to be able to make their own decisions about their own bodies, when the voters want government regulations on government operations and government spending, the Republican Party's idea of that is, we want small government to not make decisions for everyone. Oh, by the way, you can't vote um, between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. You can only vote for these three hours at this one location because the majority of people that live there are black or Mexican or young and won't vote for Republicans. Oh, by the way, if anyone gives anything to anybody that's waiting for 16 hours in line, that's a misdemeanor and you're going to jail. Oh, by the way, uh, we want to make sure that partisan poll watchers have authority over everything. Oh, we also uh, we also want to make sure that the poll watchers can have guns because that makes sense. Uh, an outright machine gun to see when you go there so that you feel nervous about going in there. You're not quite sure what's going to happen when you go in or what's going to happen if your vote's going to get counted because they're also passing laws that state that if the Republican run state doesn't like the outcome of the election, they can get a new set of electors and then decide how they want their electoral college votes to go. But every vote should be counted, right? That was the whole deal for the uh, 2020 election. These votes were not all counted. They don't need to be counted. But once they're counted, I don't like them. I'm going to change it to what I like. What was what was that called? Oh, it's cancel culture. Oh, it's a voter suppression. But they're going to rename it to something different. That's That's what it is. Okay. But that's okay, right? Because that's what people voted for. That's what when... These guys were running, and women were running on their campaign trails. They said outright, vote for me so that when I get into office, this democracy that we have will put into an autocracy. We don't need to have anyone doing things. We know better than what other people are thinking. We got this. Oh, by the way, we want to put someone in office that we want there, not who you were going to vote for. We want them to stay there for a long, long time. Um, we'll, we'll give them ultimate authority. Authorian. Authoritarian. Communism. Um, what do you want to call it? We'll just call it presidency, but we'll give them 15 terms until we decide that we don't want to deal with them anymore. But we'll let whoever is a public figure not do any work don't 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 work at all don't just go out there and you you tweet your little thumbs away you just do you oh you want to embezzle okay that's fine oh you want to change laws so it benefits you and your family fiscally oh that's okay oh everyone that you have in your inner circle and outer circle connected to them they're all criminals or have been indicted or charged convicted yeah, totally, totally waive the charges. Let get him out of jail. Give him a get out of jail free card. Totally do that. That, that is how the presidency should work. That is how government should work. That's how law enforcement should work. 
for any way we want it to work for us. Oh, that black kid stole a Snickers? Put him away for life. Fucking just bad, bad blood. You, just can't, you can't get out of him. It's got to be genetic. He's grown up that way. His parents are that way. You know, they, they got to be probably on food stamps. Yeah, you know, they say they're working. They just don't want to get a job. They just want to sit on unemployment. Oh, you mean unemployment that can pay the bills and medical bills and put food on the table? is actually doing better than that $5 an hour minimum wage that they're forced to work overtime on. And they are full-time working and still poor. But the Republican Party thinks entry-level job. But all the people that are running these multi-billion dollar companies don't need to pay taxes. We can also make them raise their minimum wages. But let's condemn the people that work for them and how they have to get by for it. And then let's use racist stereotypes to just say exactly what it is. You're outright fucking racist. The Republican Party is nothing but a bunch of old white fucks that are hardcore racists. They've been racists. There will continue to be racists. That's just how it is. You want to see how racist works? Just watch anything they say or do. Also, look at who they have representing them. Maybe, I don't know, when the governor of Florida only invites Fox to ask them softball questions. Hmm. Weird, right? They talk about fake news, yet the news organization that they have coming out of them, they can only ask softball questions that they were preordained. Okay. That makes sense. That is good journalism. Fair and balanced. Oh, you want to ask me questions I don't know the answer to or to make me look bad? Mm -mm, mm -mm, Nope. Nope. Not going to do that. Pass. Oh, that's right. That's what the last president did, huh? Hmm. So playing out of the Trumpism playbook. Trumpism, racism, populism. Huh. So any moderate Republican that was left in the party is now gone. They're all alt-rights. All of them. That's, uh, that's where we're going here, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the left is a bunch of right individuals in any way. They're not correct. There's all left in that as well. But what you don't see is you don't see the Democratic Party coming out and outright just bulldozing democracy, bulldozing human and civil rights. They should. They absolutely should. Tit for tat. You want to have all this bullshit of corporations stay out of politics, but keep paying me. Okay. How about the ones that aren't paying taxes in democratic run states get charged five times the tax rate they should be to make sure that we get back the money that we're missing. Yeah, the Biden administration already has a plan to tax these corporations that have offshore funding, that are trying to hide money from our country. The Republican fucking party and the people that vote for these fucks all want to talk about, oh, mom and pops and save mom and pops. Fuck you. You know the fucking tax rate on mom and pops? You know what these guys have to pay to just run credit cards? To pay their insurance? To pay to just keep the doors on? And then the taxes come in on top of that? You want to support mom and pops? Then support making the big corporations pay their fair share. 
that money that has been escaping the country for decades while countries come here so they can do offshore accounts elsewhere because they know we allow it close that loop bring the money in you want to talk about make america great again close that loop build that wall so the money can't get out from corporations from all the people in this country that are putting their money into these corporations put that wall up build that wall block that money for me able to leave this country. Let that stay in this country. Not just going into Jeff Bezos' fucking pockets while he pays zero. Or how about the fact that Trump paid $750 in income tax? 750 I pay more than that. I don't make a fucking fraction of what he lies about making. Broke ass bitch. Everyone wants to talk about the right and the wrong. Republicans, Democrats, they're wrong. They're wrong. It's all wrong. All of it. We have no defined term limits to remove these old fucks out of office. We have no set structure of rules for how these folks are supposed to act. If we did, they would not be able to carry weapons when they came into the Capitol. They wouldn't be able to say half the shit that they do on a microphone, on a camera, because they'd be held to standards that they just don't have. Why do we allow for schools to expel children for comments they say outside of their school and outside of school hours on their free time, but it's posted social media? But we allow politicians to say fucking anything with no recourse at all. Child can't say fuck high school. Because she gets expelled. Politicians can outright lie. They can degrade people. Say horrible things about anyone and anything. And nothing happens. They stay in office and keep getting their minimum six-figure paychecks. And all the endorsements and financial contributions from major corporations. The system has to change. It's broken. If the system were so great, why do we have every Republican or Trumplican state making the most restrictive abortion laws possible to get to the Supreme Court to go to an alt-right Supreme Court so they can veto A woman's right to choose. How many of these bills are passed or signed by women? I'll wait. Yeah. How many of these laws that are being put in are being backed by women? A majority of women. Not two or three. Not one vocal one but by the constituents in the states. How many? Yeah. Not that many. Why do we allow for these assholes to sit in a position of power where they're supposed to represent the people that elected them, but in order to remain in power, they have to keep gerrymandering their districts so that they can put it around the people that would vote for them, that would give them more electoral votes those aren't the people that voted you in but that's how you're going to redistrict it so you can stay in power that's cheating that's absolutely cheating and you want to talk about bipartisanship oh the filibuster is there to help negotiations so that everyone has a say but you don't have to show up for the filibuster. 
You just say that you're, you're going to filibuster and it's done. Make it hurt. Stand up for the entire time. You have to speak the entire time or it doesn't count. You have to be there. You want to go to traditional values? Bring it back. Go that way. Or blow it the fuck up. Be done with it. They want to bring back segregation. They want to bring back racism to a higher level. Racism never gone away. Don't get me wrong. I get that. They want to take away women's rights. But they don't want to bring back the original filibuster. They want to phone that one in. It's like people that say religious statements that aren't religious. Oh, a man should not lay with another man. All right, but you shouldn't work on the Sabbath. What you do? You want to pick and choose what you want to believe and what you want to fight for, what you want to go for, but then make blanket statements. Fuck you. The Republican Party is going down harder and harder every day. Their own voters are speaking out against them for everything that they're doing the wrongs that they are committing, the atrocities that are coming across. These are nothing more than Stalinistic, Leopoldistic, and Hitler type fucking deals that they are trying to push through. The alt-right is trying to make the country alt-white. It's a country of immigrants that stole it from natives. And now you're saying, oh, well, we've been here. We make these rights. Fuck you. Every human being should have the same rights. You don't want women to have abortions? Okay. Then men shouldn't be able to masturbate. You're just throwing semen down the fucking toilet or... On your mom's back, you southern fucking bastards in a sock, tissue, probably crying them in your own fucking teary hand. I want women to be in office and put that out there. If women can't have abortions, men can't masturbate. And if they do, it's a felony. And castration could be an option. Oh, women shouldn't be able to tell me what I could do. Oh. See how much you like that shit. I also want to see women say men can't have a bathroom wall next to a woman's bathroom because most rapists, pedophiles, and murderers are white men. And that is unsafe for women. So men's bathrooms have to be around back in an alley. Oh, that seems a little extreme. Mm. Look at the laws they're putting out now. Listen to the rhetoric that you hear from the Republican Party about Mexicans. And then tell me what I'm saying is extreme. I feel we need to get these bigoted, racist pieces of shit out of office. Blow up the entire system. Start over. If we didn't get it right the first time, And it was never meant to be this long of the same system. It was supposed to be changing and ever evolving. We don't evolve when politicians can stay in office for five decades. It's devolving. We're going backwards. It is not the way a government should work. Get people out of office get these vocal idiots about their own racist fucking views out of office. Make people be in office that can work with each other, that will work with each other for the betterment of the human fucking race, for the betterment of this country and for everyone in it. Whether you're here as an immigrant, a legal citizen, on a visa, trying to get your citizenship, even if you're just fucking visiting, or if you are an illegal immigrant or a dreamer, everyone 
should be able to have someone working for them, for the betterment of them and their life in this country. That's what government's supposed to be for. That's what a democratic republic is. A representative democracy is supposed to be for people. Not dictating what you can and can't do, should and shouldn't be able to do, if it has nothing to do with the betterment of the individuals. If it's just to better yourself as a fucking politician and to line your pockets, you're in the wrong fucking field. Politicians should not be able to get financial contributions from any donors at all. You get paid by the taxes that come in. That's it. You want people paying taxes? I guarantee, stop taking financial contributions and the Amazons and Walmarts will start paying all their fucking taxes because these guys want to get paid more. And that's the only way they get paid. Not because Chevron is giving you $100,000 every year to just say, fossil fuels are safe. They're great. I love my cars. They eat gasoline, and I understand that, and it's not good for the environment. I'm not saying I don't also love electric vehicles and the power that comes with them, or that we should not be able to have renewable energy. If we had the ability in this country to look into things, to research things, to actually do science, we could have had this fossil fuel idea converted years ago. Safe hydrogen-based fuel, water-based fuel. All of it could be done. Even conversion kits to transfer your gasoline-powered vehicles with no extreme modifications to a renewable, easier-using fuel that won't hurt the environment. But that would hurt the fucking pockets of the politicians. So we can't do that. If we could use stem cell research more frequently, we'd be able to cure more things. And we've already talked about this. There's no money in a cure. There's only money in a treatment. So let's keep treating people at high fucking dollar rates for insulin or the PrEP pill for HIV. Other countries don't pay nearly as high as we do. Oh, it's because this is how our government works. It's capitalism at the best. At the best for who? That's where you need the government to step in and help. Remember? Trump said he would do that. He didn't. They didn't do anything. Nothing that benefited this country. They allowed loopholes. They cut taxes on big corporations saying that trickle-down economics will work. They've never worked. Get them out of office. Get the Trumplican party gone. Get anyone that is not willing to talk, negotiate, and bring this country back to the ideals that we all have been saying we all want and have wanted and want to go back to. The people that want to sit there and buck things and pass the fucking buck, kick the can, filibuster so you don't pass something that could be great, so you never have to even look at it, get them out. We need new blood in, we need negotiations going on, and people working for us. Working for the country and working for the people. The entire country. Not the 25% that wants separate water fountains for separate races that doesn't want to let someone's gay, cis, trans I I don't even know all of them child share the same bathroom as their child play the same team as their child we need to bring the government to current times or else what are we doing? Well, that's all the time we've got for this episode. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank you for sharing. If this is your first time listening, please remember to hit that subscribe button. It really helps 
the Herman James and the Rent expand as far as we have been and let us keep growing. If you haven't already checked out the YouTube channel, please check that out. That's youtube.com forward slash the Herman James. If you haven't checked out the No Phony Podcast Network, check these independent podcasts out as well. These are global podcasts. They're fantastic. That's no phony network.com. Don't forget to check out The Herman James for all current and past episodes. We've got podcast notes as well as our YouTube channel streaming out there. Once again, that's thehermanjames.com, and I can't wait to be in your ears.